Sven Grand Prix. This is day four here at Potterstrom. We're 110 kilometers from Johannesburg, uh, over to the southwest of Johannesburg, that is, in South Africa. Uh, the weather today, well, it's going to be a tricky day. Uh, you can see behind me some nice white puffy clouds, but you can see it's starting to get congested. And if you just look behind me, if I just turn around, you can see some big, angry black stuff. Uh, we, we can already see some rain coming out of it. So uh, we've had some fun and games here setting tasks. In fact, we're on task 4D now, uh, which is going to set the, uh, uh, the guys off going 80K into the good air. We can just walk around this way. You can see behind me some really fantastic clouds up that way. And they're hoping that this storm is going to pass to the south of us um, for today's race. Yeah, so looking at the results from yesterday, uh, in third place, Andy Davis, very, very close with Mike Young in fourth. And in second place, uh, just by five seconds, uh, Peter Krychek, and in first place, Oscar from South Africa. Uh, that's actually turned the points overall into uh, quite an interesting situation, with Oscar out in front on 17 points and four pilots on 15 points. So we're halfway through the Grand Prix, and yet it's still really, really close. So we've in the reckoning there, we've got Sebastian Carver, Andy Davis, and Mike Young. Right, yep, uh, we're uh, on the grid now. Uh, Matthias, is, uh, Matthias Stern from Germany is on the front of the grid. Let's we'll see if we can have a quick chat with him. Matthias, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm trying to get a point. <laughs> you're an honorary member of the Zero Point Club at the moment, and you're going to get out of it today, are you? <laughs> I'm an official member of the Zero Point Club. <laughs> I don't know what happened today. We will see. I try to find uh, the good lines and the good lifts like us uh, yesterday. We will see. But it's a very different day from yesterday. It looks like it's going to be very tricky. Yes. We will see. Uh, thunderstorms are arriving from the western part. We will see uh, if the cloud base is high enough and the uh, thermals are strong on our track. Well, have a great day and uh, enjoy yourself and stay safe. We'll see you when you get back. Great. That's Good news. And uh, who else we got down here? Uh, Peter Krychek. He had a great race yesterday. Second, narrowly beaten by Oscar. Just pipped him on the line. Um, see what Peter has today about today. So, Peter, Hello. second yesterday. What can you do today? Well, I hope so. The better. <laughs> better. You're going to win today. Yeah. <laughs> you nearly won yesterday, but Oscar just pipped you on the line. Yeah, yeah. Only it's nine seconds missing. Yeah. C'est la vie. <laughs> As they say in England, yes. <laughs> the Czech Republic. Um, I just wanted to ask you, you looked like you were flying together. Yeah, was, it was a very nice flight together with Oscar. Yeah, very nice cooperation with old words. Very nice. I am enjoy. And the pair of you seem to be flying 5 to 10 kph faster than everybody else. Was that the, the right thing to do yesterday in those conditions? Yeah, yesterday's conditions was very nice, yeah, because I think the best of the time what I am here. Yeah. Uh, I think a little bit problem was uh, on the second turn point was a little bit uh, uh, weak thermal conditions than uh, on the first leg. Yeah. And uh, on the last leg was a little bit problem with a uh, little small height on the uh, touching of the uh, cumulus clouds on the Kumul Street, yeah, not not problem, only slower, slowly. So yesterday you predicted uh, the speeds of 150 <laughs> kph, yeah. and you were 0.1 of a kilometre out, you did 149.9 kph. What kind of speed do you think you'll be doing today? Uh, I don't know exactly, I hope so, about um, 140, we hope so. <laughs> Fantastic, well have a great day, and we'll see you when you get back. Right. Um, so we've got young Simon here. Let's see if we can grab a quick word for Simon. Just out of the points yesterday. His mum looking after him. Is he in there? Not today. Today. Are you hiding, Simon? Uh, yeah. On, I'm busy with the task. So okay. No. Oh yes, because we've got a change of task. Okay. No problem. And what what exactly are you doing? Um, because the task was alpha in the beginning and. Ten minutes ago they said we have now task delta, so I have to switch, change the task. But I, in my opinion it's the better decision today and it's the better direction. So I'm, I'm glad they, they changed. Okay, we'll let you get on and uh, best of luck today. Right, who else have we got down here? Andy Davis. 
plumbing his uh, task in. First tug's just starting up behind me. Um, see what Andy has to say. Andy, have you got a minute or are you busy putting I'm task D in? Task over, but go ahead. Yep. So, um, interesting day yesterday. Uh, yeah. Snuck in the points. It was a great day yesterday. Grand run out on the first leg. Fantastic conditions. Uh, that's what we came to South Africa for. I think today it'll be more interesting, a bit more like the UK. So I'm looking forward to feeling at home today. <laughs> well, that's great. Um, they've changed the task to Task D, so we're heading north first. Is that a uh, good choice? Well, at the moment it looks like it, yes. So uh, we shall see when uh, we get underway. But it's difficult today, I think, with the showers popping up all around. Uh, they could arrive, uh, they could form anywhere during the day. Yeah. Well, we look forward to watching it and uh, best of luck. Yeah, thanks. Yes. Right, and see if we can. Uh... Ah, we have got Sebastian, who's normally last to the grid and um, always keeps his preparation right to the last minute. Let's get Mika around the uh, our camera lady here today, Mika. Just making sure she doesn't trip over the wingtips. Sebastian, are you all ready for today? <laughs> I hope so. But we are still learning from the locals, you know, here. <laughs> and I hope that there will be enough competition days that we'll already learn before it ends. <laughs> and when you say you're learning from the others, uh, how do you mean? Okay, for example, for, uh, we learned that uh, whenever you fly west, it's getting better and better and, uh, until it gets blue. <laughs> so we, that was a lesson we took yesterday. So you're, you've always said that you fly conservatively, and yesterday we saw you doing that, but you were able to drag yourself up to the front again. Uh, I made a mistake. Uh, I made a, a mistake in the middle of this uh, first leg. Uh, I followed other guys uh, flying to the left. I was already pointing to the right direction, but then I changed my mind following the others. And that was a mistake, unfortunately. If I took it my way, I would be with the front line. So today, weather a little bit different. We've got storms behind us, but uh, Tasty down on track looks quite good. Mm -hmm. It looks good, but the wind is, I don't know why. Uh, it's a uh, west wind and it blows this uh, black cloud over the task area, so I hope it will be uh, quicker than this. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it'll slide to the south, that's what they're hoping. Um, so you're in equal second place, pretty much, on 15 points. What is uh, your strategy? Equal. Now it's everybody equal. Let's fly as, as good as you can. <laughs> that's a strategy, you know. You can't, you can't do anything more. <laughs> Is there anybody that you're worried about? Anybody that you are not worrying about? At this stage, not yet. Uh, you, you, don't, you can't tell which, uh, which pilot is the winner of this competition now. It's absolutely anybody from even from the bottom of the list can, can win this competition. Yeah, technically, um, still somebody like John Coots with no points could actually have four wins and win the competition. That, that would be. That, that would be something, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, um, it's mer maybe not a very likely event, but it is possible, and it's a good pilot. And uh, unfortunately, he's flying not a, as good glider as we are, and uh, it has to be frustrating for the, for him. I I flew such competitions that it's better sometimes to to quit it, and uh, because uh, it makes you very frustrated, unless you are making just it for fun. He's smiling and he's having a beer every night and he seems to be enjoying his flying, so perhaps he's doing it for fun. I hope so. <laughs> I wish him. Anyway, uh, best of luck today. I look forward to seeing you later and look forward to seeing you on the podium. Okay. Cheers, sir.